So with this domain analysis tool, you can now take any uh, domain URL that you want. You can click analyze on it and it will give you a domain authority score, a spam score, a backlink spam score, referring to domains and total backlinks, internal links and external links, uh, just to name a few. We also get the referring link types, referring link semantics, which server it's hosted on and how many pages we have crawled for this one. The script looks like this. We're going to grab a webhook. We're going to get the records. We get the domain. We're going to use data for SEO to grab all the information. We're then going to compose two of the uh, informations that we get back into some string just in order to fill that in here, which are the referring link types and referring semantics. Hello, Hans here from Scale by Tech. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build an SEO or domain analysis tool within like 10 minutes using data for SEO. Just uh, so you know, I run Scale by Tech. We do a lot of SEO and content creation using automation and AI, like a lot. So um, this is mostly what we do. But let me show you how to create an app to analyze domains. This is something that I use frequently, like getting the backlink profile and uh, the spam score and domain authority and all that. I'm going to use data for SEO as this is an excellent tool, which is used by many SEO apps. Uh, some of them include answer the public, for example, uh, SEO to T ranks pro. A lot of these software use this specific company as their backend data. I will uh, disclose here that to get the bank link data, it is required to use a hundred dollars per month in credits. So, this is not a like, it's not the subscription price, but you must add 100 USD to your account each month month and use that credit in order to get access to it. But there's a little small hack here, and that is that you can actually get a 14 day trial for it. And what we're going to do is we're going to get, if we go into the data for SEO um, information here, we can see all the stuff that we can retrieve. What you need to give it is you need to give it the target domain. And then we have some settings we can set here. And then we get a lot of information back. So I would um, encourage you to look at the <clears throat> information here and the documentation to see what we're getting back. But let's head over to an interface. I'm using AI tables. You can use air tables, something else doesn't really matter just as long as you have some place to put in your domain and then refetch the information. So I have a domain field. I have a button here that triggers an automation. I'll come to that. We have a, um, what's called, it's called a formula field, which extracts the root domain because from the information here, we need a naked domain. And people have a tendency when they copy and paste a domain in, to create, for example, let's take scale by tech, uh, like so. They'll just take the domain, copy that, then they will paste it in into the field and it will have HTTPS and all that added to the pasted value. And we need to strip it of that, which is why we have a, a formula field here with some yeah, specific formula to strip all that away. This is different from AI tables to Airtable to wherever it is. So just go on Google and search how to do this or ask ChatGPT. So we get our root domain. Now we need to look at, we need to construct our Airtable AI table first to like what fields do we want to get back. So we're going to look into the documentation and see what is it we're actually getting back. We are getting, let me go down here. For example, we're getting a rank. This needs to be divided by 100. This is the DA, domain authority, or the rank domain. Total backlinks, we get a backlink score. We get how many pages have been crawled. We get some um, server information and CMS uh, content management system. For example, this could be WordPress. We then get internal link count, external link count, um, broken links. We get referring, we get 
uh, referring link types, if it's anchor, redirect, images, so forth, we get platform here. Where are they coming from? Blogs, organization, so forth. And we get the semantic location of the link. If it's from the article, is if it's from the main domain, um, and so forth. So what I've done is that I've created my table here. We have the domain, you saw that. We have the trigger button. We'll trigger the automation. We'll come to that. We then get a root domain. We want that as well. And then we have the DA, which is the domain rank, domain spam score, backlink spam score. I want how many referring domains are to my uh, target, the total backlink count. Yep. How many internal links? That's a nice thing to have. How many external links are here? Then referring link types. And this, I just copied this from the documentation, but this is the anchor, like where are the links coming from? Um, then I want referring link semantic, semantics. So article section, so forth. What type of server is it? So Cloudflare or other and the CMS type and how many crawled pages want that as well. So crawled pages, let me just see. I think this was not here, here. Do, 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 do. Crawled pages, crawled page. that's an integer. So let's just change that to a number. There we go. So we get that. Okay. These are the fields that I want to have. Let's create an automation to actually do this. I have here a new automation inside of make.com. The first thing I want to add is a webhook. So this is my receiving end. This is a custom webhook. I will just copy my title of the script. I call this SEO app dash domain analysis. I will add a webhook and rename this to the title of the script. This is just how I do it. Now I get an address. Let's copy the address. Go over to my automation in this SEO. I have a trigger. So when button is clicked and then when in the domain analysis um, data sheet, when the analysis anal analyze domain button is clicked, then we send a webhook. We're going to send it to this address and I'm going to append this JSON here. So we get the record ID and the data sheet ID. We don't really need a data sheet, but the record ID we need. I'll just pass along both because that's nice to have. Save that. Now let's run this module once and trigger. So trigger that. And we then received record ID, data sheet ID. Hey, quick word from the sponsor of this video, which is me. I have something called the Automus Core platform, which enables you to create AI content, but with a certain twist that is very customizable and using automation where you can tweak all the stuff yourself. What this does is that it actually creates results and people are very happy about it. You see, it does what it's supposed to do. And you have a 14 day risk free money back guarantee. This is an image from my private project or one of them from like five days ago. So you can see it works pretty well. Now back to the video. Awesome. Now we need to pull the record from AI table. So we go in and say AI table, get a record, do the same with Airtable, get the record. So we pass along the record ID and then we fetch the record by the record ID. I could also just have passed along the root domain, but this is usually how we do this. So we'll stick with the standard format of doing this. So we're going to get from the data sheet domain analysis. I could choose map and then add the domain analysis from here, but we're not going to do that. So we're going to do this, click OK, click Save, and let us run this once again. See if when we triggered, did to do, there we go. Now we have a root domain. Awesome. Now we will do a data for SEO and we'll do a get backlink summary. This is this one, backlink summary, backlink summary. I've already done a connection here and you can see a target domain and it must be, you can see domain without HTTP or VVV. It has to be a naked root domain, which is why we did the formula just a moment ago, root domain. 
include subdomains. Yes, I want those because I use this analysis tool to find expired domains mostly. So I want all the subdomains as well. Um, internal link list. You can go to the pricing and see this doesn't cost much and we're not really interested in this one. So backlink status, I only want live. I don't want to look at lost or all. So I only want live at the moment because lost backlinks when looking for expired domains doesn't help much. No filters, okay, save. Let's run once again, go here, trigger this. We can delete this record. Now we have information. We're gonna do expand results. Awesome. <clears throat> now I'm gonna do an update AI table. Like this is a super simple automation because uh, there's so few steps needed here. So we're gonna update a record. We're gonna do it on the this one that we received. So that specific record. And I'm first gonna fill in all the integers and the data that we can get directly from data from SEO. And then we're gonna construct a few um, string aggregators or uh, some just some string, so text basically. Two, there are some of these, um, yeah, I'll just show you in a minute. Let me put in record ID and domain, domain authority, this one. So we will do, here we go, tasks, result, rank. So that is the rank. And we'll do a division by, was it 100? Because this task result here, rank is, no, I only need to divide by 10. There we go. So this should be 17.7. .7. Domain spam score. Do, 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 do. I could just search for spam. So domain spam score, target spam, backlink spam score, this one. Referring domain, so we can just do referring. I want this one, referring main domains. Total backlinks, uh, I think this is one of the top ones. That is just the backlink here. Internal links, do, 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 do. internal links there. Internal link counter, external link counter. This is a text field, so we need to construct that um, CMS. There we go. Server. There we go. Crawled pages. Crawled pages. Come on. Let me search. Broken crawled pages. There we go. Now I only need to do referring link types and referring link semantics. Semantics. Sorry. Let's just test this and then we'll create those two. Run once. We will do analysis here. This will run, this will run, this will update. Damn. There we go. DA 18, domain spam score 3, backlink spam score 8, referring domain 72, total backlinks 270, internal links 15,000. It might be counting headers and footers because this seems like a lot. External links also seems like a lot. Um, then I haven't constructed these two. My server is Cloudflare. That is correct. My CMS is WordPress. Awesome. That's correct. And crawl pages 808. Great. Let's just create these two referring link types. So let me scroll down here. Referring link types. So I want to, this is um, like we, we're getting this fed back as an array. So I need to reconstruct this array into a string. So inside here, we'll do a construct string add a module, we'll do tools, we'll do compose a string. Then we'll do the task, what was it called? It was called referring link types. Let's find that referring link types. Here we go. This one, no, yes, maybe. Let me just take attributes, referring platform types. I'm not getting my correct answers here, so I need to look here. Referring link types, that is collection. Okay, so we get <clears throat> anchor, redirect, and image here. And platform, I don't want that, I want it semantics. So we get a blank, and then we get these ones here. Let's do referring link types first. 
So we, I'll just rename this link types and go to results, link types. Okay, since th this wasn't an array, this is actually a collection, which means that we can um, we can do it in another way. No, we can't because it has to. We have to take the collection. This will change because here it's only redirect, anchor, and image. And if we go and look here, we get some more of the are these blank? Maybe they are, so we can use them. Okay, I will just add them here and then see what happens. So we will do direct there, and then we'll do anchor like so. We'll do image like so, and we will do alt let's, uh, alternate and canical. Canical, wasn't that correct? Canoke, yeah, that wasn't correct at all. Canonical, apparently. There we go. Link and let's do this. Link types. Okay, I can't spell link types. There we go. Then we'll do a clone and we'll do semantic. Come on. Let's just do here. Copy, paste. Awesome. And let's see the tasks for semantics, results, semantic location. Okay, so we actually get all the semantic locations here. So we'll do article. I'll just gonna pause the video and type all these in one second. Cool, that's now added. Let's click save and let's add these two over here into the fields. The two that we are missing, referring link types. There, referring link semantic semantics, click OK, click Save. Let's just do this, save, turn this on. This should be working now, so we will go here, click Analyze Domain, and let's just analyze this domain as well. There we go. We can now see that we have, under referring link types, redirect, anchor, image, and then we go here, article section, main, nav, and so forth. Awesome we now have a working domain analysis app. So whenever you're looking at buying expired domains, you can just add them here and click analyze domain, or you can create a lead magnet around this for your clients or for potential clients, that is, if it's a lead magnet. Um, you can then create an automation that automatically, like when they fill out a form, just add an email as well here. For example, you could just add insert left and say email. So they fill out a form with a domain and an email, then just add a trigger here. So add a trigger when record is created, for example, which means that every time a record is created inside the domain analysis, click save, it will trigger the same automation. And then just have at the end of this automation here, um, just send an email to them with all the information, for example. Then you've created a lead magnet for domain analysis, free domain analysis. This costs like nothing per request, like 0 0.02 cent and then like nothing. So hope you like this. Um, very, very simple. Like we only had used six nodes here, but this is a quite a powerful lookup tool. The only downside in my opinion is that you need this subscription like you don't it doesn't cost 100 it's credit based but you do need a lot of volume to actually use 100 i use a lot on my account so but i'm only at like 75 ish dollars a month and um, i will be ramping up my article production so that i'll probably go ahead and spend this um anyways so but Hope you uh, learned something and found a useful way to create a domain analysis app. So um, I'll probably expand this SEO app with some more keyword research and so forth. So hope you liked it and until next time, bye.